QuickBooks Desktop 2024. Free 30 day trial, download, and install. Get ready and some coffee because we're locking into some non stop QuickBooks Desktop 2024. Remember that people might be in a few different scenarios at this point in time with regards to having the QuickBooks desktop software. One being that you already have access to QuickBooks desktop, but you have the 2023 or prior year version, in which case you would most likely have a subscription model set up because into it, the owner of QuickBooks had moved to a subscription model. First, a word from our sponsor. <laughs> Yeah, uh, actually, we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But but that's okay, whatever, because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our crunching numbers is my cardio product line. Now, I'm not saying that subscribing to this channel, crunching numbers with us, will make you thin, fit, and healthy or anything. However, it does seem like it worked for her. Just saying. So, you know, subscribe, hit the bell thing, and buy some merchandise. So you can make the world a better place by sharing your accounting instruction exercise routine. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com for the desktop version by 2023. So you just need to update, which we talked about in a prior presentation. Or you might have a prior version of the software prior to when Intuit, the owner of QuickBooks, moved to a subscription model, in which case you can use that for practice. But if you wanted to update to 2024, you would think you would either need to purchase 2024 or possibly use the free 30-day trial. If you don't have access to any QuickBooks desktop, then you could purchase the software or possibly if you want to test it out, look into uh, downloading the 30-day free trial often offered by Intuit, Intuit being the owner of QuickBooks. That's what we're going to dive into this time. Now, this is the Intuit website, Intuit being the owner of QuickBooks. It's spelled I-N-T-U-I-T dot com. So you could start there and then go into the QuickBooks, noting that Intuit has multiple different types of software, and you can search for the free 30-day trial from there. However, I find it's actually a little bit difficult to find the free 30-day trial from there. I find it to actually be easier to simply go into a Google search or whatever your favorite browser is and type in QuickBooks Desktop 30-day free trial. Noting that when you do this, you, mon you want to make sure that you're typing QuickBooks Desktop because we don't want QuickBooks Online. And if we don't type Desktop, we will almost certainly be led to the online version. So make sure you have the QuickBooks Desktop 30-day free trial. And then I'm going to look through the results and, and I'm going to kind of verify that the URL has Intuit.com, I-N-T-U-I-T.com, because that's the owner of QuickBooks. So I feel fairly secure that this is a legit place to go. So I'm going to say, okay, try it free 30 days. That looks like what we want. So I'm going to go into that. Now, notice this one doesn't look exactly like the page I was looking for. They kind of, uh, it's not looking like what I expected. So I'm actually going to go back. That looks like their sales page. And I'm going to see, well, what else do we have down here? This one down here says, download a trial of QuickBooks desktop. That sounds promising. It already it also has .intuit.com in it. So I'm going to try that one out. And this looks more like the page that I was expecting. I'm going to hold control and scroll in a bit. So it says here, I'm I'm on the QuickBooks page now. And it says here, download a trial version of QuickBooks Desktop. So learn where to download a trial QuickBooks uh, Desktop Enterprise or QuickBooks Desktop for Mac. We're looking here, I'm going to be working with the version for a desktop computer. They'll look similar if you're on a Mac, but the map uh, software is a little bit different in the look and the feel. So you can kind of translate it if you're working on the Mac. 
but uh, but we're going to be working with the desk with the Windows version here. So if you'd like to try QuickBooks Desktop before you buy it, you can download a 30-day free trial. A lot of people aren't as aware of the 30-day free trial on the desktop version because again, it's a little sometimes it's a little bit hidden if you go into their web page, whereas they are aware of it more on the online version because it seems to be more you know on the actual web page. Also, the desktop version means that you have to download the software, which you would think would be harder for them to set up a 30-day free trial, but they could still do it, which is great. So, so we have this here. So download a 30-day trial of QuickBooks Desktop. Go ahead and purchase QuickBooks Pro and Premier Plus or 60-day money-back guarantee. So you, if you're purchasing it for use, you, you have that guarantee so that you, you, your options could be that if, if you want to go to try to get your money back if you want to test it out but we want the free trial here before you start make sure your computer meets the minimum requirements to install quickbooks desktop so quickbooks is a fairly large program so make sure that uh, you have the requirements in order to install the program <laughs> so important don't try to register the trial if you try to register it it could lock you out of quickbooks so in other words this is a trial version you're not going to register uh, the trial version like as though you're purchasing it I, I think quickbooks needs to see it as simply a trial uh type of of uh, software so make sure that you're you're saving it as a trial version now if you put data in it that you want to keep or something like that then possibly you can back up the data right and then when you download the actual version of the software possibly you can uh, restore the data but again we're doing it here if you're using the trial version the thought would be that you're using it for test type purposes so uh so save the trial install file somewhere you can find it uh you don't need you don't need any codes to open the trial version so currently we have just the enterprise now remember there's different versions of the desktop so the the pro is going to be more similar to like the company sizes as the quickbooks online pro right or pro plus right uh and those for small to mid-sized companies and then people that have the special needs might then go up a notch to the enterprise and the enterprise comes in different what they call flavors that you're right we could specialize in construction or uh, have the general enterprise or retail or uh process costing stuff so uh but the enterprise version has everything that the other versions have plus the added features so i'm going to look at the enterprise version and then you and then uh we, we might like try to list out when when using it what kind of features are in enterprise and what kind of features are subject just to uh are, are special for enterprise and which are not uh in special to enterprise so most of the normal type of bookkeeping the full accounting system bank feeds uh the full accounting process most of the general reports that most businesses need income statement balance sheet accounts receivable and stuff is in the normal uh normal desktop it's when you get into more advanced type of reports for specialized areas that oftentimes the enterprise uh, comes into play like inventory cost accounting and stuff like that or construction so let's go ahead and hit the install file now it's installing up top so you have your installation it should not take too long to to uh, pull down here although it's a fairly large file even the installation file okay so now I'm in uh, Google Chrome so it's currently updating with this little drop down up top that's where the temporary file is you could drag it onto your computer remember that this is not the actual uh the actual QuickBooks file this is the file to run the software so this is your startup file or we could just click on it from here and it should start the run process so I'll click on it and see if I can run it from that point so here we have the Intuit QuickBooks desktop enterprise We've got the 30-day uh, free trial QuickBooks Desktop Enterprise is the most flexible version of QuickBooks designed for more complex businesses. You might get some actual audio that will read this to you, but I'll read it to you here too. It offers the flexibility to adopt your business needs with the look and feel of QuickBooks to help you run your business more uh, effectively. 
you will be installing a 30-day user trial. If you decide to purchase QuickBooks Desktop Enterprise, you will be given options to buy 5, 10, or up to 30 user license. Okay, so we want the install the trial 2024. So this license agreement here, notice there's no little button. You have to actually click on it, and then it opens the agreement in a browser. And then, of course, you want to read the entire agreement because that's what you tell them word for word. Word, don't even skip, don't even skip a word, or else you'll be lying by checking off, uh, by checking this off here. So after you've read all that, I paused it and totally read the whole thing. Then you're going to continue, and then it's going to say where they want to put it. So it's putting it under uh, the program files, and this is where it's located on your C drive. Program files into it, QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions. So if you want it located at some other place, you can do so, but that's usually a pretty cozy, nice little place. You might want to save that so you know where it is at. So if you want to uninstall it or remove it at some point in time, it might be easier uh, to do, but there it is. And so there's going to be uh, your license information. So uh, you might want to uh, write this down because oftentimes you need that license information if it forces you to input it later, but that usually happens when you are registering the software, which you're not really doing here, you would think, because we're just using it for the 30-day free trial. So normally when you install the software, you would wanna save that information somewhere, or you would have it online in your Intuit account, but I believe you don't even need an Intuit account, uh, I don't believe, in order to run the 30-day the free trial version here. So we're gonna go ahead and install, it says, it says uh, the smarter way to do business as we're installing in the startup screen. This could take some time, by the way, because again, into it, kind of uh, our QuickBooks, fairly large. So more room to grow up to 40 users and capacity for 1 million customers, vendors, and inventory items. Single source for, tru for truth across your entire business. I like that. It's a source for truth. This is like philosophy here. This is a source of truth that we're getting, we're hitting on. Exclusive reporting, inventory, and pricing tools. So there, there we have it. Let's wait. I'll, I'll pause it here. I won't read anymore until it downloads. And there we have it. The source of truth has been <laughs> had been installation complete. Let's go. Let's go ahead and a quick quickly open it. And so I'm going to open it up now. Uh, there, there it's running. Okay, QuickBooks Desktop Enterprise Solutions product is available in several industry-specific editions. So choose a QuickBooks Desktop Industry-specific edition tailored to fit the specific needs of your business. Now, if you, if you were testing something out to try to get QuickBooks not enterprise, uh, th then notice you wouldn't have this option in the installation, right? Uh, but QuickBooks Desktop would still have all the normal kind of features. If you're going to enterprise, most likely because you're in a specialized industry, possibly a larger company, then you could specialize in the options of just the general enterprise, enterprise solutions for contractors, because uh, you're going to need a job cost system, right? And so that has some special kind of stuff. Enterprise solutions, manufacturing and wholesaling. So it, you would think if you manufacture things like widgets or whatever, it's all the same stuff, you would think you would need like process costing kind of stuff possibly. So that's a di whole kind of different, another world of accounting. Enterprise solution nonprofit. So the nonprofit, you at least you would think need some different terminology so the nonprofit organizations can make themselves feel better by pretending that money doesn't matter and uh, and, they, and you know it's not about making money or anything, even though it's kind of about it's still kind of about if you're trying to help people it's kind of still about making money but whatever enterprise solutions professional services and then you've got the uh, enterprise solution retail I'm just going to go with the general at this point I'd love to maybe we'll dive into more of these specialized versions. Uh, each of them at a future point. It's on my to-do list of uh, interesting topics, but now, not now. Uh, important, if you install QuickBooks Desktop on more than one computer, you must install the same Enterprise Solution Edition on each computer. Click Finish to, to configure QuickBooks Desktop to fit your industry and complete the installation. Click the Back button to change your installation now, or you can change it later at any time. All right, let's finish it up. 
Finish it up, QuickBooks. Let's do it. I'm ready. So now you can see up top, I have the QuickBooks button as it's thinking here. There's the QuickBooks. Occasionally, Intuit provides updates to QuickBooks that you can download over the internet through the automatic update feature. Would you like to update now? Sure. Give me the update. I want everything up to date. All right, so then it opens it up. I think it's going to give me a pop-up showing that we are indeed in the uh, practice version. So it says right here, Intuit uh, QuickBooks 30-day free trial. So it says three ways you can get started. I want to see a sample company file. I'm ready to create my own company file. I want to open an existing company file. So this is a little bit different of an input screen to start off with with the 30-day trial than you would find you know, if you bought the software because it is the trial version. So again, if you wanted the sample company file, that's a great tool because it already has stuff in it and you can practice things like running reports and doing data input from there. If you want to create your own company file, even if you're just practicing with it, that's great because it allows you to, to then have nothing in it so you can practice starting up from scratch as though you might do if you were starting a new company file within QuickBooks, which is often one of the more complex things to do in accounting and bookkeeping, starting that first company file. I want to open an existing company file. So if you already have a company file open, maybe you were using QuickBooks from like 2020 or something, and you're trying to up, you're trying to update now, uh, and you just want to see if you can do that, right, to try to update it to 2024, then you might be able to uh, 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 open an existing company file and see if you can do it. Make sure you back up uh, the company file and possibly try to restore it or something like that so you don't like mess with your data. But there is that. So we're going to continue with this uh, in a future presentation. We'll most likely start our own company file and then, uh, well, we might use the sample code. I don't know. I don't know. We'll go from there. We'll check it out later. But for right now, I'm just going to close this out and just note that the icon is on my computer so there's my icon let's move this out of the way we're not doing that right now you should have cleaned up your desktop your room is a mess you started you invited people into the room and it's like got stuff strewed all over the place it's embarrassing okay so there's quickbooks enterprise and obviously the software we can just open it up and then the data files when you open them up will be similar in relation to, say, a Word document and Microsoft Word. The program is Microsoft Word. The documents are separate documents. Here, the program is, is QuickBooks. The uh, data files are separate files, and we can have multiple of them, different company files that we can open within QuickBooks. The difference being that with Word, we normally double-click the document to open the software. With QuickBooks, we usually double click the software and then open the file. And when we open the company file, uh, we usually just open it automatically because we're only working in one company file, unless you're an accountant that works with multiple company files. But if you're in a business, then that's why it's that way, right? You click on the software and it opens the default company file, which is usually your normal company file. All right, uh, so we'll start doing that next time.